Hi, welcome back to the channel. In this episode, we're going to be talking about compound interest. And I promise you, this is just going to blow your mind. I'm Anthony, and we're talking money. Okay, Albert Einstein once said famously that compound interest is the eighth wonder of the world. And he wasn't exaggerating. Compound interest is such a powerful phenomenon and most people overlook its significance. What is compound interest? Simply put, it's interest earned on previous interest. And because the total keeps on going up and up and up, so too does the interest earned on it. It follows that the amount of interest earned compounding year after year means that the sums go up exponentially. To demonstrate the power of this phenomenon, if your parents were lucky enough to deposit £10,000 into your bank account the day that you were born, and that grew, that money grew at 5% a year, and you didn't touch that money until you retired, that pot of money would have grown from £10,000 to £300,000, giving you an annual income of just under £14,000 a year when you retire. And that's without you having to put in a pound or a single dollar into that initial £10,000 deposit. Now, of course, inflation may erode it a bit, and you may be asking, where on earth do I get a deposit account that grows at 5% a year? But it demonstrates the point. By the way, even though there aren't any savings accounts that turn 5% a year, there are plenty of tracker funds and a basket of blue chip shares that return at least that every year. I'm such a lover of compound interest. It's the basis of how I invest in the stock market through my various ISA portfolios. I don't um, spend any of the capital, I just get the dividends reinvested back into more dividend-bearing stocks. And so the process continues. It's essentially my pension fund, and I treat it as such. I'm not tempted to spend any of the capital, because at some stage I want it to be my main source of passive income. I don't particularly want to be working hard for a living in later life. I'd far rather be living off dividend checks that come in regularly. But here's the rub. It takes time. And the longer you have, the better your chances are for compound interest to work in your favour. Compound interest isn't a new concept either. It was taught by mathematicians in ancient Greece about 4000 BC and traders and merchants and bankers have used it to their advantage accordingly. So now it's our turn. One of the best real life uses of compound interest when it comes to when approximating how long it's going to take for an investment to double in value given a particular growth rate. This is known as the rule of 72 and it's one of the quickest, simplest calculations you can make. Simply divide 72 by the growth rate and you get your time scale. So if your investment grows at a rate of 3% per year, 72 divided by 3 is 24, it will take you 24 years for your money to double in value. 12 years if your investment grows at 6% and your money will double in 6 years if you can find a growth rate of 12% per year every year. Compound interest is greatly affected by the interval period in which you earn or pay the interest. For example, compounding works to your advantage if you can pay half a loan payment twice in a month rather than the full amount at the end of the month. Sounds weird, doesn't it? But it tr it's true. Now compound interest is great for investors and savers, but terrible with those with debts and it works in the opposite direction. Credit card companies rely on this to make them extra profits. By way of an example, a credit card balance that is not paid off in full has interest added to it and the total payable for next month increases. The following month, interest is calculated on the previous month's interest and the total just keeps on going up. That's why you should always pay your interest and your credit cards off as quickly as you can and in full at the end of each month. Compound interest really is special. If you have time, then it can work to your advantage over your lifetime. From very small beginnings that are perhaps imperceptible, the effect increases exponentially as you get older, leading to a very, very large effect later in life. The small beginnings are the main reason why people do not appreciate the power of compound interest and don't give it the consideration it deserves. Well, that was an introduction to compound interest, its advantages and disadvantages. I'm Anthony from Talking Money. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Press the subscribe button and the little notification bell and you'll get an update when the next place the next video. So until then, bye for now. Mm -hmm.